Hank has helped us out by providing an overview of macromolecules. Before we look at these materials more in depth, let's look at how these materials are built. Most biological molecules are very large and are built by assembling small molecules, or monomers, into long chains. The resulting molecules are called macromolecules, or polymers. A process of linking monomers, called dehydration synthesis, involves the removal of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom to form water. One way this might happen is diagrammed here, where several generic monomers are shown with OH groups that could be used for linking. The animation illustrates the joining together of monomers by dehydration synthesis, catalyzed by a polymerase enzyme, and the reverse process, in which added water results in hydrolysis, catalyzed by a hydrolase enzyme. This image reiterates what we just saw in the video. To bring two smaller molecules together, we must dehydrate these by removing water, one hydrogen and one OH group from each smaller molecule, and bring them together to create water. To separate molecules, we must lyse or break apart water, hence the name hydrolysis, water breaking. These small reactions shown here can be combined into large series of reactions. At this point, pause the recording and come up with a way for you to remember the differences between the two processes. This will be the first thing for you to bring to class for points in discussion. Now that we know how macromolecules are made, let's look at our first class of macromolecules, carbohydrates. But first, let's watch a video on sugar.